Hey VC, how you doing today? This is uh, Jonathan from the uh, Cheap and Cheerful Record Collector. Uh, I thought today I would do the uh, vinyl tag that's going around, 20 questions about your record collection. So let's get right to it. Uh, first question is how many records do you have? Um, I list all my records on Discogs, uh, so I have about uh, 1,650 records approximately. Uh, number two, what kind of turntable do you have? I have a Project Debut Carbon turntable, and I recently upgraded it with an Ortofon Blue cartridge. Absolutely love it. So happy with it. Uh, and the question three, how old were you when you started collecting records? Uh, I started collecting when I was a kid, maybe 1962 or so. I was 13 years old, collected records for many years, then uh, about 15 years ago, I got rid of all my records, sold about a thousand albums, um, bought those little shiny metal discs, they're called CDs, and about four years ago, I got rid of all those and went back to collect, collecting records, and uh, all my records I have here, I've collected in the past four years or so. Uh, number five, the, number four, the oldest record you have. Oldest record I have is something called the Vogue Picture Disc. Vogue picture discs were made one year only, 1946 to 1947. They um, are 78s with, obviously, pictures on them. Really corny music. Um, the factory actually burned down the year after they went out of business, 1947. So nobody's really sure about how many they made and how many types they made of each one. Uh, this one is particularly Out Where the West Wind Blows with Kenny Roberts, which I love. And the other side is the Down Homers, Who's Gonna Kiss You When I'm Gone. I got four of these, picked these up at an antique store. Absolutely just fun stuff. People collect these just for the pictures. Music is really corny. Um, first record owned. First record I ever got was 1959, The Kingston Trio. Um, I got a Hanukkah one year. Um, I was probably about 10 years old. First record you bought on your with your own money. I don't have that. I had it, obviously. I bought the record I bought was, I'm pretty sure, was Menford Man Do I Diddy, the album. I never bought 45s, always into albums. So that was that, but that's long gone out of my collection. Uh, favorite colored vinyl. This is sort of cool. Um, saw this record at a Goodwill. It was sealed record. And funny thing, it had no UPC code on the back. So I was looking at it, I'm going, this has got to be a private uh, release by somebody. So for a buck, I figured, what the heck, sealed record, I can do that. Take it home, open it up, and inside is this beautiful lavender vinyl record. <clears throat> the guy's name is Paul Cresswell. I looked him up, I think he's out in Minnesota area. Very folky, a little bit too emo for my taste, but beautiful record. Great, great, great looking record. So that's my favorite colored vinyl. A uh, discount album. John Lee Hooker, Going Down Highway 51. Picked this record up for about $2. Uh, a friend of a friend's had a bunch of records in his basement. I talked to him, picked this up. Really great album on um, the specialty records. Um, next one. Uh, prize Possession. Picked this up in a barn. Upstate Maine, cost me a buck. First Elvis Presley album. Um, like I said, it's not the first pressing, but it's an early pressing for sure. Uh, not great condition, but definitely listenable on the RCA Shaded Dog, as you can see. That's really one of my prized possessions. Uh, favorite female artist? So many. It's hard to pick one, but if I had to pick one, Billie Holiday. The Essential Billie Holiday, Carnegie Hall Concert, Verve Records. I mean, I love Janice, Bonnie Raitt, Nina Simone, everybody else, but Billie Holiday. That's the one. Uh, favorite band. Wait, how are you going to pick a favorite band? I mean, there's so many records, so many bands I love, but I finally came upon my favorite band is The Band. This is their second album, The Band. Just, you know, they, they, they created a whole new type of rock and roll. Love the band. Nobody like them. 
uh, impulse buy. Again, I'm a big Goodwill fan, as you know, if you've watched my last couple of videos. Everything I own is $5 and under, pretty much, about 90%. Cheap and cheerful. You don't have to spend a lot of money to uh, create uh, a good collection and get great records. Impulse Buy, I'm at Goodwill. Saw this record, never heard of these guys, but it was on Rounder Records. So I figured my first thought is Rounder Records is always good folk stuff. Gotta like it. And it's called... Get Yourself a New Broom by Guy Van Duzer and Billy Novick. It is just one of my favorite records I got recently. It's folky. It's uh, New Orleans Dixieland type music. Great, great buy. Blind buy. Uh, gift. Um, fortunately, a friend of mine passed away a number of years ago. When he died, he uh, left me a whole bunch of records. This is one of the records he left me, so... I consider it a gift. Every time I listen to it, I can't but not think of him. Horace Silver, Songs of My Father. Song for My Father. Great, great record. On Blue Note. Don't know if you know this, but if you're into jazz at all, a classic, great, great record. Every time I think of, play it, I think of Alan. Uh, most listened to record. Rock and Roll. Rock Pile. Nice, um... Gatefold, Nick Lowe, Dave Edmonds, the only official Rockpile album, even though a number of their solo albums on either of both their names featured basically the entire same group is basically Rockpile, but uh, that's the only official Rockpile album. Rarity. Um, I was given a bunch of records. A friend of ours moving from a uh, house, big house to a condo, called me up, said he had like three boxes of records, come get them. Dug through, found lots of great stuff, but this was the gem. The Deep Blues Harmonica of Walter Horton. This is a British uh, uh, pressing, JSP Records. A fantastic album. Just the real deal. Try to find that. Good luck. Rainy Day Record. Sitting around, it's raining, you want something mellow. Something really great you're going to enjoy. John Coltrane, Giant Steps. This is actually a Record Store Day copy, which I got a number of years ago. Um, audio file, clear vinyl. I got like three or four copies of this record. All different types of version, uh, pressings. Uh, feel Good Record. A friend of mine was uh, selling all the, a lot of his records. He uh, called me over. I went over, went through them, and jumped on this. Rockabilly Stars Volume 3. Two record set of classic rockabilly. Nothing makes, it feel, makes me feel as good as rockabilly does. This features Little Jimmy Dickens, the Everly Brothers, the Collins Kids, uh, J.D. Loudermilk doing the original Tobacco Road, uh, Johnny Cash, um, who else? Carl Perkins, the Collins Kids again, uh, Johnny Horton, great stuff. You like rock, uh, Rockabilly, I guess they have a couple of versions. It's the only one I've seen is a volume three, but great, great music, lots of fun. Uh, nostalgic. Back in the day, 1964 or so, we used to go down to New York City and go to the uh, Gaslight Cafe in Greenwich Village and hear all the folk music with a good buddy of mine, Bob, and the guy we used to see more than anybody else was Phil Oaks. Uh, Phil is gone now, and unfortunately so is my friend Bob, but every time I hear this record, I think fondly of those days and the times we spent down in the village together. Phil Oaks, nostalgic. Um, record Store Day title. Picked this up, I think the last Record Store Day. I know a lot of people hate Record Store Day. I sort of enjoy it. I try not to go too crazy with spending too much money. Uh, this one I had to have. Paul Butterfield Blues Band Live, 1966. Two record set, nice gatefold, and it comes actually in two colors. One album is, I'll show you, one album is Paul Butterfield Yellow, Butter Yellow, and the other one is Paul Butterfield Blue. If I can pull it out there without dropping everything. And there's the blue one. So that's a great, 
again, great record, so they find. The um, quality of the recording is not the best, but the music is so good, it over overcomes all those problems. And last but not least, recent purchase. We've had a lot of snow here in Maine, so I've been sort of stuck inside, haven't had a chance to go out and do a lot of digging recently. I was at Goodwill a couple weeks ago, about a week or two ago, and they had a whole bunch of classic country, which I love, and I was lucky enough to pull Whalen Jennings. This is called The Taker. This happens to be a French pressing, and uh, great stuff. So that's, that, that's basically it. So that's my um, vinyl tag today, 20 questions. Um, I've been watching other people's videos and loving it, so hopefully you enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think down below, and uh, keep look out for more videos from the Cheap and Cheerful Record Collector. Until then, peace.